Marketing today is online and offline. But in the online section, there are two main ways of doing this. Outbound, which is like when you go out to people, or inbound, and you get the people to come into you and make inquiries, right? Now, outbound is where you find basically you do cold calls, you do cold emails. It could be a bit nasty sometimes. People think it's very nasty. It can be done in a better way as well. Uh, but inbound is all about getting people to come to you. For that to happen, you have to give away knowledge. You have to give away content. You have to give away data for free. The more you give, the more you get. This is the, the karma of life, isn't it? Like we just, the more you give, the more you get. So content writing, writing, writing blogs, writing articles online on your website, on different people's website can be challenging. People ask me, how do I think about new content pieces? How do I think about what you write about? Because I mean, I do, I sell curtains, or I sell tiles, or I sell uh, my knowledge, but what should, what should I write about? So first of all, here, I've got some ideas for you. These are different tools I'm gonna to talk about. All these tools, most of them are free, right? You can use these tools for free. The first one is BuzzSumo. BuzzSumo, what you do is you go to buzzsumo.com, you type in the niche you are in, and for example, this is a curtains. It will then give you all the last few articles in which they mentioned in curtains, and it'll show you their number of likes and comments on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, and on YouTube. So you can see which titles work really well for you. Similarly, Reddit. It's a great site where you get a lot of people to, where they have subreddits, which are basically subtopics. You can basically look over there and see which topics are currently trending, and which are po currently popular. And then Quora, where you have a Q&A kind of session where you can see people, people asking questions and giving answers, right? Next one. Putin.com and also the public.com. These two sites are phenomenal. These are gold mines, guys. Note it down because it's going to be very helpful for you. Go to the first one, and that site will help you. If you enter, for example, curtains, it will tell you different titles of blogs you can write about. So it'll say 15 reasons why you should buy curtains today. It's a brilliant idea to write about. I mean, you'll never think about it. Or, for example, the second site will tell you it will find other terms which match curtains, for example, curtains and silk, and they will tell you how to write a nice title for your blog or your article, right? Phenomenal websites to look at free of cost, right? Next one, Canva and My Emblem. I'm gonna tell you about these two sites. Canva is a great site if you're looking to build presentations, business cards, uh, logos, literally anything, right? It costs you $15, the free trial. $15 per month, that is, right? This presentation has been built on Canva as well. It took me literally 20 minutes to put together. It's just drag and drop all templates there, drag and drop them. You can build your own logo, your own website, your business card, whatever you need. We had three designers. We paid them all 25,000 pounds plus, and literally, we moved them all. We just use Canva now. It's impressive. Second website, My Emblem. This is a gold mine. I found it literally last month. You just, en you just enter your brand name or your company name in it. It'll make you the logo, the business card, and the, the typography and everything in under a minute. It's free of cost. I know companies who get design briefs from their customers, go on this website and build their own, like build their logo for them in under a minute and charge them 500 pounds for it. I mean, that's a bit dodgy, but okay, here we go. <laughs> SpyFu. If you want to know if your customers, or sorry, your competitors are currently getting their leads in organically or they're paying money for their outreach on Google AdWords or Facebook, use SpyFu. You can actually go and spy on your, on your competitor's website to see how they get their inbound leads at the moment. Brilliant site. We love it. Again, it's free as well. What do you mean organic traffic? Sorry? What do you mean by organic traffic? Okay, I'm going to tell you, uh, Q&A is at the end, but I'm going to give you a quick uh, introduction into organic. Organic traffic is when you don't pay money, or you, don't, you don't pay for ads on Google or Facebook to get traffic in. That's organic traffic. Inorganic is basically when you pay Google, Facebook, Yahoo, whoever it is, 
for the ads, that's obviously not organic. Right? Okay, Twitter is a great way to also get leads. But Twitter, for me, is... I won't spend too much time on Twitter, if I'm totally honest with you. So I've completely automated my Twitter by using Round Team. It goes and follows people who are influencers in your industry, or you can set them up as well, and it will retweet their messages on your profile. So when people are searching for different keywords, they'll find you, and they'll think, oh my God, Raj is a champion. He knows everything about marketing. Actually, it just retweets other people. Works really well. This is not free. It's about $30, but it's worth it. You can have multiple accounts on this. So you can have your company account, your account, your neighbor's account, neighbor's cat's account, and all that. Right. Now we're going to come to a little bit of outreach. Outreach in the digital marketing world is when you send out cold emails, primarily. Emails work three, three, times, three times better than social media. So if you're, doing, if you're doing Facebook and you're doing Twitter, emails can beat that easily, three times better than Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. Why? Because you check your emails all the time. Like you get an email, everybody has an email account now. Like literally even in, not only in, in Europe and US, but also in Asia as well, or Latin America, it's everywhere. It was, it was good email accounts. So the idea is that if you have email accounts, you check them all the time. So if you can find people's emails, you can actually email them out. But how do you format your email is really important. I'll talk about it a little bit later on. But if you want to find people's email addresses, you can use hunter.io. It will actually, you just go to hunter.io and you just enter people's names, the company names, it'll give you the email addresses. Very clever. Is it legal? Yes and no. Why is it legal? Because it's a business address. It's not a personal email address. But if you want personal email addresses, use contact out. <laughs> Don't kill me for that, but this is what the reality of the today's world is. You can actually get email addresses of people and not email them. You can actually put the email addresses into a Facebook ad and target them through Facebook. So you don't send them emails, you just use the email addresses to target them on Facebook ads. So that's the legal approach of using email addresses. Next one, this is, this is a shameless plug. It's called GoPin Leads. We have, we have built it. We launched it last month, and this helps you to find email addresses, social media links, phone numbers, addresses of any business and their employees. So say if you're looking for, looking for all designers in New York City, or you're looking for all the uh, salons in, in London, or you're looking for all the uh, Thai restaurants in Singapore, you just, you just go to Google Maps, install a plugin on Chrome extension, and you just basically then click on the search you wanna do. It'll then give you an Excel sheet with all the businesses, their phone numbers, their addresses, their email addresses, LinkedIn profiles, Facebook, Twitter, um, YouTube, all of it all there and it's a free trial uh, 500 credits 500 contacts for free to everybody and 100 contacts 100 contacts per month for free for life so small little gift for me group play now how many of us are on Facebook show of hands right if you are on Facebook you might have heard about Facebook groups this is where you want to you join groups to be part of something bigger Grouply can help you scrape any group and the members and download them as Excel sheet. So you can get their first name, last name, company name, domain name, position, and emails you won't get from them, but you can use Hunter.io to get the emails. So you can use Grouply and Hunter.io together to form this whole marketing pack for outbound emails. Okay. Sending out emails. I'm sorry, I'm going really fast today. I only got a few minutes left, or a few minutes to start off with, so I've just got only five minutes left more, so I'm gonna go very, very fast on this one. MailChimp, automation, and email octopus. So sending out emails should not be like one-time exercise. It has to be constant. So you, you plan like seven emails to one, one person. So you, you first introduce yourself, you then talk, give them a big offer, give them, make them happy, surprise them, and then put your offer, which you want to sell something, so you want to sell curtains or tiles or whatever you want to sell, and then you follow up with them at the end. So it should be a seven-day sequence of emails. But that to do manually is very difficult, so you can use automation for that. 
And this MailChimp automation and email Octopus can help you automate that process completely day after day. You can program them in, in a sequence of seven days, 10 days, 14 days, whatever you want to do. Right? Very clever, very, very good. Uh, it costs you $15 for email Octopus, probably the cheapest option in the market today. Mailshake and Yam, these are stuff which, which actually uh, integrate with your Gmail. Say you want to send emails using your Outlook or a special service like MailChimp, you can link your Gmail or Google Mail with Mailshake or Yam. And again, Yam costs you like $20 per year, and you can send out 400 emails per day with this. All right, for cold emailing, these two tools are fantastic. If you want to know what cold emailing is, get me after this session, I'll tell you all about it. Linked Helper, this is a gold mine. Guys, you gotta note this down. Linked Helper allows you to send out messages to people automatically. So say you wanna add people to your, to your network and then send them a first message saying, hi, my name is Raj, I wanted to say, I love your profile. That done automatically, completely. Imagine like just sit, sit down, grab a mojito mm -hmm. on the beach or maybe on the boat and this will do it for you. Brilliant tool. Okay, emails should be kept, when you're doing a, doing a cold email, keep them short, keep them sweet. Three, four lines is more than sufficient. When you use um, email when you're marketing, always try and get their first names within your database and make sure that you have that high first name as well in place. Because if you don't do that, if you just say, hey, comma, like, hey, this is a cold email. I know it's a cold email. But if you say, hey, first name, even if you know it's a cold email, you'll still look at it once to see if this really is a cold email or not. So try not to sell in the first email. Try and just be friendly and just chat with them and just say, hey, I came across, I, I came across your profile. You should, you should be lucky that I, I actually emailed you. A bit of humor always helps in these emails. So try and be a little bit funny, a little bit cheeky is fine. People know you get, you get cold emails. This is for a purpose, right? Target your emails very well. Streak, okay, another gold mine. So if you use C CRM systems in your corporate job and you want to have a CRM system, uh, so this is a, a sort of a database of your people you're contacting at the moment, within the Gmail itself. This is a, a free tool you can use within Gmail to keep tab of the emails you're going to be receiving from people and put it in a pipeline as well. So new contact, all the emails this person, no reply yet, one, a business, dead. You can put them all into that kind of like pipeline and also manage the emails between you and your team members within a Gmail account. It's a Chrome extension and it's super clever and it's free. So have it. Free conference, free conference call. Say you have customers outside um, the UK. You call them, it costs you money. They call you, it costs them money. Free conference call gives you a free conference line to call into from the UK and they call in from the US or Albania or Russia or India or wherever it is from and you just get a free call basically. So you can do that with your with your colleagues, with your with your customers, with your family. It's awesome. It's free. Okay, so if you do cold outreach and people say, oh, listen, uh, what time are you free? They're like, oh, let me check my calendar. Oh, I'm free on Tuesday and Thursday. That's stupid. Like, just link your Google Calendar with either Calendly or you can book me, you can book dot me. And that will help them see your calendar and just book a time, which is basically when you're free. And it'll book the time on the calendar. Again, awesome tool to use to book your time. Okay, so for example, if you are busy and people are calling you all the time and you are unable to answer the call, just forward the call to answeramerica.com. Cost you one dollar to take a message and send you an email or text. Just one dollar. There's no monthly cost to it. It's one dollar. They will call. They take, a, take up your call. They answer the phone in a personal manner. Say your company name as well, and charge you one dollar for this complete service. That cool. Sorry? Per call. Per call, yeah. Upwork. If you're looking to find team members, don't hire them. Like, don't hire them. Start to get freelancers in, right? Freelancers can be found and they're awesome. I have a team of people 
full time, but they were all once upon a time um, freelancers. A team of 15 to 20 people today have come from Upwork in South Africa, from Johannesburg and Cape Town. They're amazing. I mean, the English is better than my English, 100%. But, but also, they're hardworking. The costs are like probably one fifth of what we pay over here. And they are dedicated. And they need a job there. And we're helping them out. So this is an awesome side to find freelancers of all kinds. Marketeers, content writers, whatever you need. Okay, so if you have a big team, um, then don't just manage them through emails. That's silly. Use Trello or Teamwork. We use Teamwork to manage our team members and our clients as well. So each client has their own project in there. And they just communicate with us through Teamwork. So project management is really important. If you have it through a software, it's awesome. I suggest using Teamwork or Trello. Right, internally, when you have communication gaps, you fill them in both Teamwork, like a project management tool format, but also using WhatsApp groups. It works really well. You have a WhatsApp group for every department in a company. Or you can use Flock, which is the same as WhatsApp group, but in a more corporate fashion. Again, it's free of cost. Okay, so if you want to record videos of you, say example, you have a service you want to sell. You want to take a picture or take a video of yourself and your software being working in the background. Use, use, use Loom. Useloom.com is a great service to record your face and your screen at the same time. So you can actually give your clients a presentation in a video while you're sitting in the UK or in your bedroom somewhere in London and they are somewhere far away, maybe in, in Thailand. So it's an awesome tool to use, free of cost, Chrome extension for your browser. Amazing. Okay, so if you make incredible videos for your website to explain your service or your product, use bilabel.com, $100 per year, that's it. And you make really awesome infographic kind of videos or videos with like uh, animation and everything else, just drag and drop, simple templates like drag and drop, that's it, even with music as well. Okay, if you want to launch your product or service, um, I've got a list of these journalists. Pretty much all the top journalists in the industry from TechCrunch to New York Times to Guardian. You want the email addresses? Email me. I'll give it to you, give it to you for free. If you want some more cool tips, join this Facebook group. Uh, I think it's facebook.com. It's groups, not groups. It's groups. So it's fb.com. Groups SL Pro. And I, I can just join the conversation there, talk to me. I'm, I'm always there to kind of give you ideas and, and tips and, and help you for free. Um, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, can I, could we get hold of those resources? Absolutely. Because there's a lot there. Yeah? <laughs> there's some absolute brilliant ones. I haven't heard of the majority of those.